Hi, welcome to Photoshop Basic Training brought to you by 7tutors.com. In this lesson, we'll be looking at image size and how to modify the resolution of our image, that is the image in our work area. And we'll also be looking at how to modify the size of our documents. Now before we begin, we just need to know that adjusting the resolution has a way of affecting other portions of our image. For example, the higher the resolution, the more depth of color. And the higher the resolution, the larger the, um, the file size. So if you're going to be working on an image and you want the file size to be quite small, you have to adjust the resolution and make it just right. And the higher the resolution, the longer the printing time. So with, the, with an increase in resolution, the longer the printing time, a decrease in resolution will lead to less time for printing. And for those of you out there that just want to know, um, if you're going to be printing out your work, the resolution for that will be 300 pixels. Or if you're working on a web um, image, the web resolution is 72 pixels. All right, so let's get started. In this lesson, we are going to be creating a new document and then we're going to import an image into our work area to illustrate image size. Now in this lesson, we're not going to be creating any special effects. We're just going to be learning a lot. So just sit tight and get ready. Okay, now to begin, we're going to create a new document by coming here to our menu bar, click on file, and then click on new. I believe we're already um, comfortable with the shortcuts, the control N on the Windows or the command N on the Mac. Now, here are the settings. So we'll just call this image size. Then leave the preset. Then we can leave the width. That's okay, but we'll adjust the height. If not, our work document will just be flat. So we'll make this um, 550. 550, that should do it. And like we said before, that the resolution um, determines the size of the document. As you can see here, that we have an image size of 352K. And that is because we're using a resolution of 72. And that is for web, and that is the web resolution. But we're going to make this 300 and this is the print resolution here so that'll be 300 okay and then we adjust the color mode and make it rgb the background color that's cool and as you can see that the image size has changed to 1.03 m so i guess this is okay so we'll just click okay so we have our work document now we're going to import an image from our work file. Now we're going to use the mini bridge and that is found here in the palette well on our right. Now we click this here and it brings up the mini bridge. Now the beauty of the mini bridge is that it does exactly the same thing as Adobe bridge. But with this, you can still be in the comforts of Photoshop and browse for your files. Now you don't have to switch between various windows. Now you just click browse file. And then we we'll just wait for the bridge CS5. And there you go. It has gone straight to our work file and pulled out all the images we need. So you can just scroll down here and just select the image you want to work with. But for this, we're going to work with the very first one, the 51 CD. So you just click and hold down and drag it into your work area. And there you go. It has been included. And then you can keep dragging and dragging and dragging if you want to, but we're not going to do that. So we're just going to shut this off and place our image. Now, as you can see here, that the image is smaller than our work document, and we have a white space above and a white space beneath. But now, when we adjust the resolution of our image, it also shrinks with the document. And this white space will still be there. Now to adjust the resolution, we'll come back to our menu bar, we come to image, then we move down to image size. And there you go, image size. And the shortcut for this is the Alt Control I key or the Option Command I key on the Mac. So we'll click this here, and then it brings us a new window where we can adjust our settings. Now this is what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be understanding the settings and how it affects our work document. 
Now, as you can see here, it has a pixels dimensions and the pixel dimension describes the size of the document in pixels. And then you can adjust the width, you can adjust the height, and then we have directly beneath it the document size. And you can also adjust the width, the height, and the resolution. And then we have some options beneath that we'll be looking at later on. Now, as you can see here, that it has a link that connects both settings together. Now, what happens here is when you adjust the first one, let's say we make this um, 300, it affects the option, the settings of the height beneath as well, because they are both linked together. And then it automatically tries to give us an understanding of what the height should be. And it also affects the document size beneath as well. So we're just going to revert back. Now, another cool thing is you can either place your cursor here, highlight, and then edit. Or you can place your mouse here over the text width. And then you can see that the hand changes, uh, it changes to a hand with um, a double arrow. And this is what we call the scrubby slider. So what you do is you click down, then you move to the right to increase or you move to the left to decrease. As you can see, as you just slide it across, it keeps changing. All right. So I guess we know something new there. So we'll take it back. Now, as you can see here that our resolution is 300 and we can adjust this to affect our work. And as you can see now, our document has gone down to 57.4K. Now, beneath this, we have what we call scale styles, the constraint proportions, and the resample image. Now, let's say you have an image that has some effects on it. Now, the scale style, what it does is that it scales the effects on the image to be proportional when the image is resized. So if you shrink an image or you increase an image, what the scale style does is that it allows the effects on it to be proportional to the, Im to the image when reduced or increased. So this is usually checked or you can check it. And now we have beneath it the constrained proportions. And what this does is that it constrains the aspect ratio. So if you uncheck this, you can see now the link between them has been removed. So how does this work? Simple. You can adjust this. You can make this 500 and you'll be satisfied that the height beneath will not be affected. Only the width of the document size will be affected. And then you can come here. You can make this 400 and you can see that the width was not affected. But if we check this, I will move this 400, the height beneath is affected. So when you check this, you can edit whatever you like independent of the next one or you can use the resample image which interpolates the pixel information and how this works is when you have this unchecked now we cannot edit the pixel dimensions we can only affect we can only um, edit the document size so you have the width and you have the height so you can adjust this you can make this um, 6.77 or you can make this 8, 8. And as you can see, because they are all linked, it affects both the resolution and the height. So we're just going to click this again, and check this so that everything will go back to normal. Okay. So I guess that's how you, well, I guess we've learned everything there. Oh, and then you can come and choose from the options beneath, depending on what you're working on and how you want your work to look like. You have the bicubic, the bicubic smoother, and the bicubic. Um, sharper you can choose from here anyone that makes your work look better so we're going to switch this to 72 as you can see it has affected the width and the height but let's say you can remember and then you want to revert everything back it's simple you hold down the alt key on your keyboard or if you're using the mac you hold down the option key and as you can see that the cancel button here has turned to reset it makes your work a whole lot easier so when you take reset it reverts everything back to default and the same thing can also be applied when you are creating a new document and you've adjusted the settings and you need to go back to its original um, settings so what you do is you hold on the alt key or the option key and then you have reset it takes you back so 
you can click OK and as you can see nothing changes because we did not make any changes to the settings so we'll come back here we make size um, let's make this 700 we will check this so that we can adjust just the height 700 by 400 and we'll adjust the resolution we we'll use the web resolution as you can see it has a, it has also adjusted the size of our document but it has also affected our height as well so we'll just take this a bit up All right. okay i guess that should do it let's make this 400 Okay, using the scrubber slider there. Bingo. All right. Okay, and then we click. Okay, as you can see, by doing this, we have reduced the resolution of our work document, and the image within it has reduced as well. So you can either increase or decrease. And do not forget that whenever you do this, it also affects the size of your file and the printing time. So with the resolution reduced, it will take less time for us to print out this work. All right, so that's all you need to know about image size. This has been Photoshop Basic Training brought to you by 7tutors.com.